Assalamu alaikum, peace be with you and God bless you. I just wanted to make one mention of something. Um, just so everybody knows uh, where I'm coming from. You, you frequently hear me say that, I am, that I'm not Sunni and I'm not Shia. I'm not a Quranist. I am not a 19er. I am not a 5%er. I am not a nation of Islamer. I am not a 19er or a 12 or a 12er. I am not anything. None of that stuff. None of those names. They fit me. They don't fit the qualification. The only thing that I qualify is, is as a person who submits their will to Allah. And when I say Allah, I mean the creator of the universe. I mean all that which is good and holy and sacred. I mean the truth. And anything that, anything that is uh, truth or truthful that is supported with reason and logic. In my opinion... Allah is supported with reason and logic, scientific evidence, proof, and that's what I talk about. So just real quick, there's a group of people out there. They're called them. They call themselves the submitters, which in you know the English, the, the English, the English, tilization of the word Muslim would be those who submit, therefore submitter. So what they do is they take this word submitter and they say they submit. Okay, now these people follow a person who is deceased who had initially had some really good ideas, who, you know, especially the phrase, the Quran, the whole Quran, and nothing but the Quran. Okay, but here's the deal. His name is Rashad Khalifa. Now, I don't know much about the man, and nor do I care. But here's a critique, not of him, but of those who follow him. Uh, the 19ers, what they do is they say there's a mathematical, there's a mathematical miracle in the Quran. Great, great. Okay, so be it. But here's my critique, is that the 19, if it's in the Quran, it was in the Quran way before Rashad Khalifa found it. And if it is part of the Quran, and you doubted the Quran beforehand, and then the 19 makes you believe, well, it's, it's just, I mean, great, good, good for you. But that should not be the basis of your faith. The Quran being a perfected book, or a Quran being great guidance, is said in the Quran, whether you find 19 in it. And that is the way, as that's what you think or not. Whether it's mathematically proven or whatever, it doesn't change the fact that it, you're still just a Muslim. You shouldn't harp on the fact that, oh, it's 19, nah. No, it's completely unnecessary. Now, one of my biggest critiques is, they say the Quran, the whole Quran, and nothing but the Quran. They can read that the Quran does not change. That the Quran has not changed. And, I, and, and those of you who are, are of, that, of that persuasion, this is not a hit on you. But I know your argument. You're going to say... Well, yeah, the whole Quran is say the whole Quran was preserved, but somebody added these two things, and we just took it out so it fits the nineteen the whole formula. Well, that that doesn't really work. You can't you can't say it was all there, but then somebody was able to add to it. No, the whole the whole idea of hadith was because people couldn't add to it. The whole idea of hadith they couldn't change the word of Allah. So what they did, and they couldn't trick people from knowing, they couldn't say, well, the word of, this is what the Allah says, so I'm going to, and th well, this is what it says, let me add these two ayahs. No, they didn't do that. They couldn't have. That's why they created Hadith in the first place. That's the only reason why Allah says, he will protect this book. And this is also why he says that amongst, um, among you, the believers, we have inspired men and jinn devils to create fancy words to motivate one another to disbelief and continue to motivate one another to disbelief. Fancy words are not Allah's word. They, they didn't take fancy words and put them in there. And look, I know all the arguments for it, and it's just unnecessary. But this is me coming out and saying that your whole idea in 19, fine, fine. Do what you guys do. I don't have, I don't care. But just because, just because there's a mathematical thing that you see in there doesn't take the logic, doesn't take the scientific evidence, doesn't take the reason, doesn't take the proofs of the Quran, doesn't take the explanation or the guidance in the Quran, it does not make it subordinate to the 19 idea. So stop putting so much emphasis on the 19 idea. It's just completely unnecessary. You're confusing people. So then they start coming up with, well, this and this and this ayah equals 19. Well, so what? I can find something, something, something else that equals 8 or 7 or 13 or 12. It doesn't matter. It's, it doesn't matter. Hearing the Quran, you can see, you can hear the poeticness of it and how it fits together, and it's just beautiful. Nobody could duplicate that. There's something on my phone. Oh, got it. So anyway, nobody could duplicate that. Otherwise, it would have been done. Additionally, there's no reason to sit here and say, "Well, if you don't agree with us, then you're wrong and you're not a believer." 
that again, that's like that. A lot warns people of that. A lot. First of all, you're creating a sect when you call yourself 19ers or whatever. Not necessary. You are what you are. Just be what you are. You're a Muslim. If you're a Muslim, then just be what you are. And don't say those of you who don't, those people who don't agree with you or don't see it your way or don't care about that proof because they have so much other proof where they don't need where they believe. It doesn't. It doesn't make them less of a believer at all. At all. Whatsoever. Too, way too much emphasis on that. Um, and I'm very critical of your Quran, of the one that you say. The the the, and and a brother of mine, Salam alaikum, um, alhamdulillah. We talked about this before. You know, we we know that we 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 respect parts of your translation, or other, and a whole bunch of us respect who are just Muslim, who just call themselves Muslim, respect parts of your translation. We don't condone you removing the two the two ayahs from uh, Surah nine the end of it, um, 128 and 129, we don't condone that, and some of your translations, like things that you come up with, are based off of this idea of messengership outside of Prophet Muhammad, or you put focus on it, like even if you don't come right out and say it, you say it in your explanation, and it also um, it impacts your translation, whether you know it or not, Every, everything impacts your translation, inshallah, you know, in the future I'll be able to critique it in more detail with Arabic and bring you proofs, and I'm sure there are others out there who can do so. So that's, I'm not in a place to do that. But I can tell you is, reasonably, I have you, your idea, a sus suspect. Um, Edip, you know, I respect you for what you say and what you're doing within the community. Respect. But I don't agree with everything you say. Which is fine. Um, same thing with, like, I respect Farouk. You know, shout out to you. Um, you, you have a lot of the same concepts and ideas, some things you differ in, just because of experiences and just because you, you have like a focus, you have a goal. Fine, so be it. And then, uh, now I'm not going to name this person's name, um, very close friend of mine, you know, alhamdulillah, who we agree on things eye to eye. I mean, we see one or two things differently, but that's because of my skill and my, uh, my education level. I can't even argue the points against him because I, don't, I just don't know. I'm not in a place to do that. And then a sister of mine... Uh, very close to me as well, beautiful sister, who uh, both of you know, Dean and you know, in the heart and of the brain, and we disagree on one thing, one thing, and that does not change our beliefs at all. So let me go ahead and put this out there. Just because you disagree on one idea, this goes for everybody. This goes for anybody. Just because you disagree on one idea or one concept, that does not change, that does not change who you worship. And, who, and what you dedicate yourself towards. That does not change who you are as a being and, who you, and what you submit to. It's just an idea. And what does Allah say in the Quran about different ideas and different opinions? He will judge between you what you differ. And He will let you know of what you differ. But as long as we worship Allah, at the end of the day, our differences are minuscule. Me being a black man in the United States that speaks English as a first language, French as a secondary language, and then Arabic as a tertiary language, does not change who I am as a person, who I believe, and what I believe in. So I just wanted to make that, I just wanted to put that out critically. All of you who think that just because I don't accept the Quranist name does not mean that I'm your enemy. Just because I don't accept the Sunni or the Shia name does not mean I'm, I'm your enemy. Just because I don't say I follow Rashid Khalifa, and you do, does not mean anything. I mean, he's dead. How can I follow a dead man anyway? Allah says that in the Quran. You can't follow a dead person. <laughs> Am I supposed to follow the words of them back in the day? Bain Hadith? No. Whether you follow him or not, whether you follow Prophet Muhammad or not, if you read the words of the Quran and the Quran are true, <laughs> well, you're going to follow Prophet Muhammad. That's unquestionable. But you're going to follow his example in the Quran. If you say you're Sunni and you follow the words of Prophet Muhammad or not, screw everything that you're saying. Just throw, for a second, just bear with me. If you just focus on what Allah is trying to get you to do, you're following anybody who's ever been a messenger, anybody who's ever going to be a messenger, anybody who wants to be a messenger, and you're also one of those people who want to act in righteousness, and you will. And Allah will give you your success if you are truthful, inshallah. So stop all this freaking name stuff. It really is quite ridiculous. And stop arguing with me about the hadith. I'm not going to accept it. It just doesn't make sense. Now, for those of you who ask questions out there, I'm not stopping you from asking questions. I'm not stopping you from doing your research and, and all this other stuff. When I put my opinions out there, that it's just that. It's just my opinion. You don't have to follow it. I don't care. But if I bring up something and it seems like it's wrong, then prove me wrong and go research. If you can't, then you have reason to speculate that maybe what I'm saying has some sense and makes some sense and is, is grounded in reason. And if, even if you disagree with it 
and you find evidence against me, or then, then bring it out. And if you disagree with me and you don't find evidence against me, well, then you need to analyze what, you're, what you think. That's it. So again, let me reiterate. I'm not a Quranist. I'm not a Sunni. I'm not a Shia. I'm not a anything. I could care less about the names you call yourselves. Because if I start associating the names, then I start following the person that gave you your names and gave you your ideals and gave you your concepts. Don't want to do that. Because I am my own man. And I worship Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala only. There's nothing that you guys can do to change the way that I think. Only Allah can change the way that I think if I'm misguided. But up to this point, it's been pretty good to me. Allah has blessed me in ways that I could not even imagine, and neither could you. And I'm sure that you've been blessed in ways that you can't even imagine. It'd be so hard to name. That's beside, all of this is besides the point. Stop making a focus of something other than Allah. Stop making, stop worshiping a name. And that's what it is. Stop worshiping, stop worshiping your money. Stop worshiping, stop worshiping the Quran. Worship Allah who gave you the Quran as a guidance. Sorry, that's just my, that's just my opinion. If you follow somebody else, then you're accepting an illah with Allah, or illah besides Allah, or illah over Allah. Either way, you're committing shirk. Don't care. Don't care. Because illah does not mean, it does not necessarily mean God. It doesn't have to. It can mean something that you, something that you are inclined to accept and to make it a, uh, a criterion or to make it a pillar in your life. That is a God. So that's how money can be God. That's how money can root in evil. And so can a man. So can a name. So can a book. If you worship that stuff, then you are committing shirk. I don't, and even if you don't like what I'm saying, even if you disagree with me, I don't care. I could care less. Because I'm still a believer. And, I'll, and until you show me that you're not, you're still a believer. I just wish that you guys would stop trying to change the words of Allah. All of you. I don't care who you are. For real. And if I'm making a mistake, then correct me. It's, I've been corrected. I've had people go into my videos, give me, they say, hey man, where'd you get this? And I say, oh, I'm sorry, I misspoke. Oh, and I had a clear misunderstanding at that time. Let me correct myself. This is what the Quran says. Let me post it right there. And then uh, let me move on. And, and please forgive me of my mistake. That's, that's Allah humbling me. I don't know everything. I don't know, the, I don't know the secrets of the heaven and earth. I don't know, I don't know Jannah. I don't know Jahannam. I don't know what, I don't actually know what Jinn is. We only have theories. I don't actually know if, whether your 19 thing makes sense or not because, first of all, well, it doesn't make any sense to me because I'm not inclined to numbers like that. And only, and that would only pure, um, uh, solidify the hearts that didn't already, weren't already solidified. In my opinion, it's already solidified. So I don't need it. Not necessary. Nor do I need another messenger because I already have the full Quran. Not necessary. I don't need a confirmer if I already have been confirmed. <laughs> so anyway. I'm sorry if I'm just babbling and rambling. That's just my this is my way kind of. I'm on my way to work. Why the hell not? Well anyway, peace and blessings be upon each of you. Assalamu alaikum. Uh, shalom to those. Uh, thank you for watching my videos. Um, thank you for spending time with me. Because I don't get an opportunity to talk about this stuff in my personal life, because I don't really have anybody to talk to uh, talk about it with. Um, I do it on the internet. I do it uh, I do it on Facebook. I do it in these videos. I get feedback and it, it strengthens my spirit, it strengthens my mind, it strengthens my uh, attachment to the believers. I have met more friends on Facebook who are true believers than I have in my real life. I don't know very many. I mean, that I've actually met in real life. One. No, two. Two that, well, one that I live close to. But that's she's brand new to it. Brand new to it. So, like I said, I don't. So, it's, this is my this is this is my way of communing. This is my way of uh, communicating. This is my way of of doing stuff. Forgive me, if, you know the videos are too long. So what? Sorry, my apologies. That just means that I've had a long day and I have a lot to talk about. Uh, when the videos are shorter, if I'm very fiery, that just means that I'm frustrated. Forgive me, you know, alhamdulillah. Uh, so, I'm all, I don't know, just have be patient with me, have supper, supper. Um, no, if, if I'm wrong, then correct me. Uh, I appreciate all your feedback. And for those of you who I disappoint, I apologize. Uh, in the future, inshallah, I will rectify my ways. And if I'm wrong, then I will be proven wrong, and Allah will correct me and judge me right. And I will ask Allah for his forgiveness every single day and night. Inshallah. 
until then, the Quran will be my guiding light, and my Salat will be that which guides me right. Did I just make a poem? Ha! <laughs> Such a loser. <laughs> All praise be to Allah, Lord of the worlds. I hope that each of you have peace and blessings in your heart. Like, literally, I hope you have peace in your heart. And in my opinion, you can only get that from the creator of the universe, who created peace in the first place. You can't just have peace just because you say, I'm at peace. No, that doesn't work. You gotta do, you gotta work for it. You gotta believe in it. You gotta understand it. You gotta go for it. Peace be with you. Bye! Deuces! Later!